Hello everyone, this is Aaron again. Of course, come over to coming to you with another review. Boy, I'm so happy to be pumping out these reviews like this. Um, it's really good to be back and and to have guns to uh, to test and uh, and try out and to uh, try to uh, uh, bring to you. Today uh, we're going to be looking at the Gamo Urban 22. Now, uh, months ago. When I heard that this gun was coming out, uh, I said that if it could shoot a half inch group at 50 yards, I think it might have said an inch group at 50 yards, that I would purchase it. I haven't changed my mind about that. Uh, this gun is on loan to me uh, from my buddy again, and uh, I will tell you this right now before we even go any further, that this is the best gun for the money that I've ever reviewed in terms of what uh, it brings to the table for that amount and for what it can do for that small amount of money. So let's talk about this Gamma Urban a little bit. This gun comes from us from the UK. Um, it costs less than $300. I saw it online, I just checked on the price on it and I saw them online for $289 free shipping. That's, to me that is an amazing, amazing price under $300 for the type of uh, options and accuracy that this gun brings. Let's talk a little bit more about the gun though. Uh, the gun is 43 inches long, so for me, uh, that's not a deal breaker in terms of, uh, of buying this gun because of the price. Which is, uh, I just like bull pups. I like my I like my guns to come in about here, and uh, so it's a little long for me. But in terms of what you might want to do with it, I think you're gonna enjoy and like what this gun can do. Uh, it only weighs nine pounds, so it's it's light to be such a long gun. Um, it has a 105 cc reservoir here that that's capable of holding 230 bar. Those 230 bars will, will get you about 50 shots. Now, uh, it's my understanding, uh, I'm going to be shooting it later with the JSB's 18 grains, but it's my understanding that this gun loves the Crossman Premier's 14 grain pellets, uh, and it also loves the JSB's 18 uh, grain pellets. Uh, this gun is not regulated. However, though, the gun is so well tuned from the factory that the extreme spread on this gun is only 20 peak per second, which I think is, is, is amazing uh, for a non-regulated gun uh, over a shot string. Uh, it, had, it has dovetail uh, uh, mounts uh, rather than a Picatinny, but that's not, that's not a, a, a bad thing. My, uh, my FX uh, Wildcat has dovetail, and it works out just fine. Um, thing that makes this gun so great, I shot it outside uh, to set the scope on it because when I got it, it didn't have a scope on it so I had to put up one of my scopes on it and set it and I will say this for it, this thing this Fusion Whisper silencer on this thing is amazing I know why they call it the Gamma Urban you can't sue them, this thing is quiet um, if you shoot it into the air, no one would turn their head the pellet downrange, uh, when I was setting it in downrange at 30 yards, was louder to my ear than this gun right underneath it. Uh, that silencer is amazing. Uh, it kind of protrudes out there and it's kind of ugly. It's, a, it's not the most attractive little uh, piece of plastic in the world, but boy does it work. Um, it has a uh, very, very soft and nice uh, rubber uh, butt plate back here. The shoulders well to the shoulder and grips very well because of the, uh, the rubber. It really locks onto your shoulder, and I really like that. It comes with a 10 shot magazine. The thing I love about this gun, too, and I give it an A on, is the fact that the magazine is spring, I'm sorry, is magnet loaded. As soon as you get it halfway into place, the magnet jumps in. The magnet catches it and just pulls it in right into place. There's no filling around and trying to find what it uh, the sweet spot for getting it in there and when you get it in it's right lined up there's no jiggling some of the guns I have even including my uh, Wildcat sometimes I have to jiggle the uh, uh, the magazine in order to get the first one to start to get it on track so that's just that's just another wonderful thing that this gun uh, uh, offers it also comes with a two stage adjustable trigger now I will say the, the trigger on this thing is a little mushy uh, but for that price point, you can understand that. But I don't think it detracts from the performance, uh, uh, and I think you'll see that later. But uh, being able to to adjust both stages of this is is, is I think uh, is a is a plus for the gun. Now it has a rifle stock, 
I mean, a rifle stock. The rifle stock is uh, is plastic, and I think that's one of the things that leads to it being really just a little less than nine pounds. And it feels really good in hand. It's tactile, uh, and and when you pick it up, it, it it really fits into the hand well. It doesn't feel slippery at all. You can carry it around all day with no slippage. Um, I I just think that 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 that, uh, that they came up with the perfect uh, stock. Uh, for this gun at this at this uh, price point, um, it has a hammer forged barrel um, for the rifling, and so this gun is very very accurate for its price. And I think again, you will see that in a, in a moment uh, when we are, when we take it out to shoot it. You know, so all in all, this gun is just amazing to me. Uh, the accuracy for the price point, the quietness, my goodness, for the price point, it's just amazing, and it feels good as I said. Uh, the only thing that I, I found with the gun that, um, that, that, that was not perfectly to my liking uh, was the fact that well, when you're cocking it, you really have to pull it back in order to cock it. It's, it's, it's not smooth. It's, it's, you, have to, you have to put, some, put a little muscle to it uh, to get it to rotate and to get back and not double feed a pellet. Uh, that's one. But once you get adjusted to that, when I first, first couple of shots, I kind of threw me because uh, on my... Uh, on my impact and both on my wildcat, uh, the cocking is so easy that uh, I was used to cocking it with uh, hardly any uh, effort. And so it takes a little bit more effort to cock that, but is that a deal breaker? Not for that price point. Uh, and then the second thing is, um, again, as I said about the trigger, the trigger is a little mushy for me. Um, and um, um, it's, um, uh, but again, that's not a deal breaker. I shot really, really accurate with this gun uh, at 30 yards. Uh, uh, when I was testing it out. Now I do want to say this before I go out and shoot and I'll probably say it when I come back in. This is a six power scope. I'm going to be shooting at a dime sized target. Okay. Uh, and, and, and those of you who shoot a lot know that six power is nothing on a dime at 30, at 30 yards. Dime looks really, really small. You know, uh, my other scopes go, go from 16 to 32. And when you throw a 32, when you zoom in 32 or 22 um, power on it, that thing blows up. You can actually dissect it with the crosshairs to make sure you're in the middle. Here you can't dissect it. You just kind of kind of put the thing where you think it is and you pull the trigger. So that's going to be a downer for it. Uh, but um, I think that you will still be impressed uh, with the way this gun shoots. So uh, that's everything there is about the gun. Um, we're going to take it outside as we always do, and we're going to shoot it. Since it's a 22, I'll be shooting again against my, uh, uh, against my Wildcat. Um, and we'll see how it performs, and we'll come back in and give you some final remarks. Let's take it outside and see what it can do.
Well, as I always say, there it is. Let me just say this. Uh, I've reviewed quite a number of guns. I haven't kept count, but quite a number of them. And up until now, there's been a number of guns. Uh, the Puncher Breaker uh, was one of my favorites per price. Uh, the P-15 continues to be high on my mind in terms of price. Uh, but let me just say this. Of all the guns I reviewed, that's the FFP Impact, that's a Wildcat, that's all the guns that you've seen me review. This is the best gun right now for me in terms of the ones I reviewed and probably in the world for a number of reasons. Right now, if anybody called me and said, Aaron, what gun should I buy? I'm just starting out. I would tell every one of them, you got to go and get the Urban. And these, this is why. This is why I'm so high on this gun. Um, it rates, in, in, in terms of quietness, it rates a 10 uh, out of 10. Uh, this, this route on here is quiet. I mean, super quiet. It's amazing how quiet this thing is. Uh, in terms of uh, price point, 10, $289 delivered. You cannot beat that. Accuracy, I'm giving it a 9. Now, there are probably guns out there. Some of you guys will probably argue with that. Maybe it's a 7 or 8 to you. But in terms of what it just did in the backyard, uh, shooting in the exact same facilities from, from my gun, and you saw it for yourself, how tight the groups were. Now, I will say this. My last shot on the FX, you got to disregard it. I pulled it, and I just decided to just stop there. I started to shoot another shot just to show that, but I just, I just decided to leave it. So in terms of accuracy, for $289, feel the way this gun feels in your hand, ergonomics, how, it, how it's set up, I got to give it a 10 on that too. In terms of uh, the stock and the finish in that, in terms of looks, I like it a lot. In terms of feel, I really love it. I would give that a 10. It just, it just grips in your hand. You don't feel any slide in it. So for me overall, and I know I'm going to get beat up on this one because I've gotten beat up on other on other guns that I've uh, recommended over the impacts uh, and over uh, FX guns. Uh, but let me just say this, FX guns, take a look at the, uh, take a look at YouTube on the fix and then you tell me. But overall, this is my pick. Uh, this is a gun that I would put in anybody's hand that was just getting started. Uh, $289 for this, you can go out and get one of those uh, young, young, young hinge, um, Compressors for what, two hundred and nineteen dollars, something like that. You're up and shooting, uh, in a decent scope. You're up and shooting. Let me just say one other thing. You know, uh, when I was shooting this group here, uh, on here I only got a six power scope. And six power, as you guys know, uh, you can't dissect that little one inch target, uh, a half an inch target, whatever it is, at that range. On my other gun, I had that thing set at a uh, sixteen power, and I could dissect it. And this gun still stood up with it. So, uh, as I always said, the bottom line for me, and, 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 and it may not be for you, but bottom line for me is lay it down range and how much it takes to put it down range and what is acceptable accuracy for what it is I am trying to do. If you're trying to win a bench rest, then chances are you're going to go out and buy a $3,000 gun or whatever. But if you're, just, if you're a farmer and you, got, you just want to keep a, a gun in the barn and you can pick it up and take, off, take out a farm it when you need to, or leave it out in the shed overnight and not worry about it. Still taking it in and babying, babying it like heck because uh, this gun here costs less than $300 and I paid $1,600 for my uh, Wildcat and $1,800 for my uh, FX Impact. There's no question. Uh, I wouldn't have to worry about this gun. If I left it over in the corner all night or even out on the deck all night and it didn't rain, I wouldn't worry about it. I'd go out there get it the next morning and start shooting it again. To me, this is the AK-47 of uh, the PCPs. Beat me up, I'll read them all. Again, I want to thank you guys again for watching and those of you who subscribed. And uh, Looking forward to doing more videos for you. It's fun. I'm, I'm, I'm back into it and, 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 and I have some access to some other guns. So I can't wait to review them for you. So, as I always say, keep it safe and keep the enjoyment level high. Thank you.